hospital for 33 years in Red Deer. And then after that, I reti uh, retired from nursing back in 2013 and started up my own little business. So that's a little bit of, on me. So uh, about two years ago, I was diagnosed with uh, osteoporosis and that kind of floored me because I just thought that that was kind of strange when I'd been working and running around and didn't have a quiet job. But anyway, I started looking into uh, different therapies. I didn't want to take any pharmaceuticals for that. So I started doing some research and digging into things. And as I was digging into things, I started learning about stem cells as well and learning a little bit about that. And at about the same time that happened, what that was going on, I also was experiencing a little bit of pain in my back. I would wake up with my back aching in the mornings and, and uh, so I wondered about that and also my shoulder. So I went and had x-rays taken and turns out I had a, the beginnings of a little bit of mild disc degeneration in my C-spine and also in my lumbar spine. So again, I started doing some more digging and learning more about stem cells and uh, so I just decided I would maybe go for that. And there was a presentation that came to Red Deer uh, back in January. So along with a couple friends, I went to that. And I was so impressed with that and with what I'd already learned about stem cells right there and then you could book yourself to go for a treatment. So that's what I did. And it was going to happen, the treatment in March. So up until March then, I still did more research. And while I was researching and learning more about the stem cells, I found out that hyperbaric oxygen really helps support the stem cells. So that was meaningful to me. So when I went for my therapy out in, in Bellingham, it was in Washington State, when I talked to Dr. Young there and when, while I was getting my therapy, I asked him about the hyperbaric oxygen and he said, oh, by all means, he said, if you have a chance to go, if there's a clinic in your area, by all means go. He said, uh, it, it is a wonderful help. So that really pleased me because so that's how I ended up here at, at uh, Oxy Wellness. And so I booked myself in, I came here and I started speaking with Al and, and learned that it's very healing. He's seen his wounds healed and things like that. And uh, so I booked in for 20 treatments. Uh, I came for five weeks for four days a week for an hour apiece. And so it was a wonderful journey. I'm just so thankful that I received the oxygen therapy. Uh, one of the first things I noticed right away was um, I was sleeping so much better. I'm a light sleeper and don't sleep very well. So even after I think about two or three treatments, I started sleeping a deep sleep and, and right away when I go to bed, I just go to sleep. So that's one of the most wonderful things I noticed. Another thing I noticed, uh, back in, in uh, November, I had had some surgery. I had a little bit of skin cancer removed from my face and my dermatologist I think did a wonderful job at, at with by Mo's procedure is what it was called. It, it was a lot deeper than we expected so he had to take quite a bit of area so he had to make an incision down from that spot right down to my lip and then to the corner of my lip. So it was uh, quite a journey but eventually that all healed up and um, so that was still healing and when I was went for a follow-up on that skin surgery. Uh, he had, my dermatologist told me that it, you know, I found it to be really numb and I asked him how long that would take to heal. And he said, probably up to a good year. And that's another thing that I noticed with the hyperbaric oxygen. And by the time I was finished the, my 20 treatments, that numbness was gone. It was just so amazing to me because I didn't even want to touch it before because it just felt like something that was not even a part of me. But when, after I had the oxygen, it was wonderful because that was gone. It was healed. That's how much the oxygen, hyperbaric oxygen sped that up. So I'm really thankful for that. And another thing that I noticed, I've got 
a couple of bunions on my feet and my uh, toes, they were been cramping. I'd been to a foot specialist and I had a bit of numbness in my toes. Well, both of those have healed up as well. There's no numbness in there either. So anyway, those are the things that I really noticed. And, oh, and the other thing is my nails. I have found that my nails are, they used to split and peel. Now they are so much harder and, and grow nicely. So I contribute that as well, attribute that as well to the hyperbaric oxygen. So there's a lot of things. So if you're thinking about hyperbaric oxygen, as we know, as what I've learned as a nurse, it is so essential to life and it supports everything. So don't hesitate if you're thinking about it because I don't think you'll be sorry. So thank you for listening to me. Hi, my name is Sarah and before I came to Oxygen, I had four knee surgeries and on my third knee surgery, they gave me chronic nerve damage. So basically my leg was extremely sensitive to the touch. I couldn't really wear pants. I couldn't do anything just because of the pain. And so I tried out Oxygen Therapy just as something to do to just try to help fix it. And it's incredible the difference I have afterwards. I have minimal pain in my leg. I can wear pants, I can touch it. I can basically do everything I used to be able to do. And it's just insane that how much it helped me. And I was really scared at first. I didn't like the feeling of being in an enclosed space. It was just a lot for me. So I actually brought my dog in with me. This is Toby. And he had basically like 38 treatments as well. And it's also insane to see the difference in him. He had an infection in his ear that was just like chronic. It just kept coming back and it's just gone away now. It's so that's really good as well. So a um, little bit about me. I've been sick with Lyme disease since uh, July 2013. I didn't know what was wrong with me uh, until October of 2017 when I finally had a Lyme disease diagnosis. So I started with um, antibiotics in January of 2018. I did 15 months of continuous treatment and had um, pretty modest improvement. Uh, some small things improved, but overall I was still fairly sick. Um, so I started to look for some alternative treatment and listened to a talk in the Chronic Lyme Disease Summit about uh, hyperbaric oxygen um, along with uh, antibiotic treatment and started to do some research and was surprised to find uh, a suitable uh, chamber right here in Red Deer. So um, called Al and made an appointment to come and see him with my husband. Uh, after talking to him, uh, I was sure it was something that I wanted to try. So I have um, done nearly 40 treatments now. Um, the improvements have been uh, the most stunning uh, out of anything that I have tried. Uh, within about five treatments, uh, I, my vision improved greatly. Um, a few treatments after that, I started to have uh, lifting of the brain fog and the cognitive problems that um, had been continuous uh, for the past six years. And of everything that I had tried, that was the very first thing that caused um, those to budge. And I was pretty sure that all of that was, was permanent. So that's really exciting to me to have some shifting in that. Uh, my body has been dropping inflammation like crazy throughout these 40 treatments. I hadn't worn wedding rings for years um, because I couldn't get them on. And uh, now I'm, I can wear rings again and uh, I'm pleased overall with my treatment. Uh, I've continued with antibiotics through the treatment. I've also been doing um, half an hour in the soaky bed before my uh, Hi, my name's Camellia. I can talk about hyperbaric oxygen for hours and days, but I'm going to give you my story in a nutshell. I was diagnosed with MS five years ago. Things were getting really progressively worse. I had no energy. I had to sleep 14 hours a day. Um, I was massively confused. I couldn't call eight, three copies of five pages um, so I had to shut down my office and life was looking it had ended massive depression I just basically wanted to die <laughs> and uh, then I ran into an article that was discussing um, treatments of uh, multiple sclerosis uh, of dif in different areas of, of the world and I discovered that in England since the 1980s, hyperbaric oxygen has been used to help people with multiple sclerosis. That was only three, four months after I was diagnosed. 
So I decided to try it and I learned that I needed to do 40 dives for any central nervous system disorder. 40 dives is to start with and then see how the body reacts. So I booked 40 dives, but the problem was that it was November, so I could do 20 in November. I took December off and I was planning to do 20 in January. Um, after the first dive in November, I felt great. My energy came back, eight hours of sleep was enough. Um, I got rid of the cane, the depression was totally gone. I started liking the world, the trees, even the people. <laughs> and so I did my 20 dives, everything was great. Then I took the month off and about in about two weeks after that, I got partial paralysis of my right side of my face. And so it didn't go away. And in January I went and had my started my second session of 20 and after the fifth session the paralysis was gone and has never been back it's over five years now um i can say that hyperbaric oxygen affected my life in three major ways number one was the energy the my energy soared compared to what it has become after the first hit of, of ms uh, number two the depression was gone my mood was awesome i People were joking, my friends were joking. They were saying, okay, you must have fallen in love. You must have fallen in love. <laughs> well, no, I hadn't fallen in love. I just had oxygen in my system, I suppose. And the third, the third major area was cognitive function and memory. I could focus, of course, not as good as before. I had, um, you know, become diagnosed and, and had the MS hit. However, uh, it tremendously improved. So for the last five years, I have been maintaining it by doing at least 10 sessions a year uh, just to prevent. I do believe that my MS did not progressively go worse because of the hyperbaric oxygen treatments. Um, I have tried four clinics, in uh, two in Alberta and two in BC, and my favorite clinic is the clinic in Oxy Wellness in Red Deer. I will always come here for my minimum of 10 sessions <laughs> per year and most likely more often because I just feel great. And so that is my experience. Thank you. Ooh.